Thank you, Madam Speaker. On March 12th, we saw this government take away $195,000 from the Department of Immigration. Just the other day, I asked the minister responsible what areas of the department will be forced to make cuts, and the response I was provided had nothing to do with the question. So allow me to rephrase the question, Madam Speaker. Will any staff at Immigration Manitoba be losing their jobs because of this $195,000 cut? The Honourable Minister of Education and Training. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I thank the member for the question. We're certainly very pleased that we've been able to provide a higher level of service when it comes to Mount Toba Provincial Nominee Program than the previous government was able to, to uh, bring into place. We've reduced the waiting list. We're far more efficient in terms of the turnaround time, and we have been able to deal mess. with any backlogs that, that existed, and we have a six-month turnaround. The Honourable Member for Burroughs on a supplementary question. Madam Speaker, nothing in job security in that answer. How about resources? This government cut $195,000 from the Department of Immigration. Something has to give. Can the Minister be specific and share with us what resources are going to be affected? The Honourable Minister of Education and Training. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And certainly on this side of the House, we like to measure um, our program success by its results, not necessarily by the amount of dollars that are spent on that program. And we're certainly pleased to be able to offer better results faster out of this program than the previous government did, and I think the members should appreciate that. The Honourable Member for Burroughs on a final supplementary. Again, no answer to employment or resources, Madam Speaker. In reducing this funding, the government is continuing its approach in putting up barriers for new immigrants rather than providing better support and a welcoming environment. Why is this government abandoning the principle of the Manitoba Provincial Nominee Program by making it more difficult for people choosing to immigrate to Manitoba? The Honourable First Minister. Order. Mr. Speaker. Order. The Progressive Conservative Government established the Provincial Nominee Program. The NDP Government made the program uh, not work effectively by no. causing delays of up to three and a half, four years for many applicants. Shame. We now have addressed those wait times. The Minister right. should be commended for that work. The member should be congratulating the minister, and she should ask her colleagues why, if they're willing to ask questions on these programs, why not stand up and oppose a federal government reduction in health right. support All of over $2.2 billion. $2 billion over the next 10 years? Please join with us and stand up for Manitoba health care rather than being Ottawa West. Sure. Sure.